Hello and welcome back to the Translated Fusion Minis, ladies and gentlemen. In this 18th episode, I will talk a little bit about the integration of 3D elements in your 2D scene. This one right here is my loader node and it contains this footage. Nice. Now I need a 3D object. I will go with this text 3D node. And here it is in the second image view. Now I type in hammer text, which is German for hammer text. <clears throat> yes, extrusion. My 3D object needs some depth. All right, that looks fine. And now I just have to merge those two elements together, right? So I add a merge node. And then I try to plug in my 3D object, which does not work. Let's try it again. And now I'm holding the Alt key before I'm releasing the mouse button, but it seems there are no available inputs. Why is that? Well, don't panic. This 2D merge node is simply not created to work with 3D objects. But of course, there is a way. What you have to do is select your 3D object and add a renderer 3D. That converts your 3D object into a readable 2D image. And now here are your inputs again. The background, that's our clip. And in the foreground, I will now plug in the renderer 3D. Okay, then I select this node, hit one, and there it is. Pretty easy if you ask me. And that this object still works in 3D space can be proven by um, scaling it or rotating it in any axis you like. Um, yes, you can move it in 3D space. And yeah, that's about it. So you can see no rocket science here. Okay, and now it's on you. Play around with this technique, add a second object, place them wherever you want, texture them maybe, just play around with the notes. I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye.